time to cut this $300,000 G4x4. Obviously, anybody would get nervous cutting up a car this expensive, this rare, this limited, but this is what we do here. <laughs> A lot of things are gonna come up, a lot of obstacles. We're gonna face them, we're gonna fix it, we're gonna design it, we're gonna make it right. That's kind of how things go in life. You gotta just steam through it and get it done. Grind it all and make it good after. Okay, I'm good. So we've been chopping a lot of stuff around here, but this G4x4 is really the project we're chopping up. Doing the test drive now, it feels amazing with the back open like that.
we're back at the headquarters on a Sunday. Still working, waiting for a car to come right now, a customer. The show was good, a lot of fun. We had the most unique car there again. Convertible 4x4. Hey, how do you save it? Two RWB Porsches, the yellow SV Lamborghini, uh, Huracan. I'm missing something else, but yeah, we got quite a few cars. at the interior all custom custom seats we're trying to figure all that out before we start cutting more i love it it's different i mean we're all about being different i really like it time to chop this up some more john please work on the ferrari john hurry up we're gonna start cutting the middle section off that we have planned on this 4x4. So we're gonna start cutting it up. Some of the reinforcement bars on the top, the structural bars, we're gonna leave those. We're gonna leave a little beam in the middle of the back of the car just to have the top secure on it, add some lights to it, make it nice. Really, it's not all about chopping off the whole top. That's that's very easy. It's more about making it nice and clean and functional. We want to retain the roof airbags. We want to retain some of the upper framing of the vehicle. We don't want to just chop off the sides and the top of the car. We want to retain the windows too. Alright, so with this car, we originally were thinking about doing an automatic soft top. Um, however, since this is not an extended 4x4, just like the Londale, the original Londale is two feet longer. We thought about doing that whole process, but we opted not to do the stretching. We wanted to retain all the drivetrain of the vehicle. We will later on do like a clip on top, which will be like Jeeps, but for now, it's LA, it's summer, the customer is not really going to drive in the rain. It's going to be kind of a cruiser you know, at night or sometime. So right now, no top. We did make a custom car cover for it, waterproof, so you can cover the car. But uh, maybe in the near future, we'll do a custom soft top. All right, cars in the back, we are starting the wrap process on it. We picked a really cool color, something that is not too crazy, but at the same time, very unique. We went with a custom matte chrome. So this is a silver chrome with a matte lamination over it. So it looks like raw metal. So we thought, you know, since we were cutting it and all that metal we saw flying around everywhere, why not make the car look like it's metal?
right, so this project took about uh, six months. It was a very tough project. Uh, everything was custom made. We did not simply cut off the top of the car. We had to make our own design with the rear glass, the rear windows. You guys see all of this. All of this takes a lot of time. All right, guys, so we are in the long awaited G 4x4 chop top, convertible, long delay, whatever you want to call it. Right now I'm sitting in the back seat. This is a full entirely custom seat. It's not the original seats from the car. We did not extend this vehicle, so the wheelbase is still the standard wheelbase G-Wagon. So we had to build a seat that fits between the wheelbase. This is custom made, full electronic. So you got your controls right here. Right now the seat is fully forward. It's still behind where the factory seats go. Um, about two feet behind actually where the seats go right now. So. As you can see, it goes back a lot. So, still going. You get another another foot and a half of legroom right there. Um, backs also tilt forward and backwards. So you could sit really straight if you guys want, or you could recline almost. So, as far as the reclining will go, it's almost flat, which is crazy. So you could do a lot of stargazing back here. This is where the factory rear seats went. As you can see the door and the upper row, this is where the seats sit. It is all gone now. Um, we recarpeted it. There was a lot of holes and stuff, so we had to take care of that. That's why it's all clean and done. And you got all the leg room in the world now. Sort of like the Londele style, we made our own piece. Uh, this was not there before. We made it as factory spec as possible. We made glass for them. We tinted the glass to match the rest of the car. We also had to do a lot of interior work. Once we cut everything open, the headliner was trash. All the metal exposing, we had to recreate all of that. Seal them up, all metal, repainted it, and then wrapped the car. All the interior has custom paneling on the sides. Around the ceiling of the car is custom Alcantara. Very, very happy with the outcome. It's a true custom project car on a very rare car. Um, it looks amazing, it's functional. Customer has been having a blast with it already. Having friends in the back seat, driving the car, whatever, it feels amazing, it's fun. So yeah, on to the next one. <laughs>